And what people typically do when they want to change direction is they use that outside leg to reach for the line. And I think that that outside leg generates a sense that you're hitting the line quicker. And as soon as something touches that line, the sooner I can make my turn and go back the other way. Unfortunately, that's not the case. When you reach for the outside leg, you generate a really wide base of support, which puts both legs going in different directions, meaning that when you extend, you're going to go straight up. Your body's not primed now to go horizontal. So this person's going to have to take an extra few steps to realign their body to go in the other direction. Now, what we're trying to teach the athlete in this example, remember there's lots of different agility turns, is the crossover step. But if we get our athlete to cut sharp, so again, focus on this inside leg hitting the line. Okay, so if I'm in this position here and now I'm falling forward, my body will actually instinctively do that crossover step. And you can try this when you're at home. If you have your feet together and you fall to the one side, you'll do the crossover step. And you have to do that again, otherwise you'll, you'll face plump. So our focus for this is to teach that sharp uh, change of direction. The sharper the cut, the more you get a big push from gravity and you end up doing a crossover step. And we do that by thinking about this inside leg hitting the line.